Okay, hello dudes, how's it going? Uh, it's been a while since I've made a HUD video, I've been kind of busy with school and stuff like that, but uh, I figured that the general public needed to continue to be educated, so I'm doing what I can to kind of still step up and fill that void. Because I don't really have a lot of time, I'm not going to throw a lot of editing in this video, it's going to be pretty raw, like just straight, straight forward, you know, to the point, and I'm going to keep it really minimal on the editing field, and I plan on releasing a, a bunch of really short tutorials instead of uh, a fewer really large ones because I feel like just making a bunch of uh, really small ones makes it easier for you to find a short concise video about what you want. That being said, today we are going to go over um, changing of HUD health and um, sorry HUD health location and the HUD ammo location. That is changing the location of your health on a particular HUD and changing the ammo. Uh, location on a particular HUD. Now this is a really popular question, so let's just get right down and get to it. Okay, so there's two files that you need to edit whenever you're messing with the uh, health and the ammo. Um, the first one being HUDLayout.res. Um, so let's assume that you want to adjust your ammo first. So once you have your HUDLayout.res folder open, which is again in your custom HUD directory and then scripts folder, you'll immediately search for weapon. Now I say that because uh, it's easy to find what you're looking for if you search for weapon. Um, and the thing you're going to look for is HUD weapon ammo right there. Now essentially what that is is that controls the entire ammo field. So if you adjust the X and Y positions of the ammo, then it changes where the ammo is on the screen. Um, the C essentially means it's centered. So it's positioned based off of the center of the screen. Um, so let's, let's get right to it. So we've got our X and our Y values here. And simply by changing them, so like changing that 72 and 80 in your X position, for example, saving the file, and doing a HUD reload scheme, it moves over a little bit now. Let's let's make it something a little more drastic so you can for sure see the change here. We'll make it 280. You'll see it just goes right on over there, and it's just all you want. Um, same thing with the Y position. We can go ahead and make it like, uh, let's just make it 166 for the terms of reference. And there you go. You've got your ammo now where we want it. And you'll notice that it moved the entire ammo element, not just one specific portion of the ammo. So if you want to move the whole thing, this is what you do. Um, now health is a little tricky uh, because it has its own file for whatever reason. I don't, I don't really have an explanation for that. But that is in your resource folder. So you'll go to resource, you'll go to UI inside of your resource folder, and you'll find a file called HUD player health. Now once you have that open, then you just need to find the um, section of code that is also called HUD player health. And you see it's at the top here. It is going to be at the top in most cases. And again, just like you did with the um, ammo, you'll just simply adjust the position of what it is you're working with. So we'll change that C45 to a 145 to HUD reload scheme. And there you go, it's moved down. And uh, again, it works on both the X and the Y axis. So if I wanted to change this 32 to something like a 232, oh, sorry about that. Um, and you do your HUD reload scheme, you'll see that it should also move over as well. Oh, sorry, I'm an idiot. That's not supposed to be there. There's two X positions. See, everyone makes mistakes. It's crazy. Okay, here's the value we're going to be messing with. Okay, we'll change that 288 to a 188. And boom, there you go, it moves. And you can just continually save the file and do a HUD reload scheme on both the health and the ammo until you get it to where you want it to be. Uh, anyways. Oops, that clears up some things. I know it was really brief, but I just wanted to get a quick explanation out there for those guys who don't need too much guidance. Thank you. I'll see you guys later.